What's up guys? Welcome to your 95th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me Travis and what we're going to do in this tutorial or in the next few tutorials is we're going to work with some data. Um, saving data to the phone, saving data privately so no one else can access that data, um, publicly on the SD card and just um, some basically uh, some primitives that we can save as well. So I'm going to show you different ways that you can save and how to do that we're going to get into a little bit more depth than what we have worked with previously. And as you can see, I've set up um, an XML layout called Shared Preferences and also a, a, a uh, class called Shared Prefs. Um, so this is just the XML file here where we have edit text, a save button, a load button, and then a, a uh, just a text view down here. And what I've done is I've created this class again called shared prefs and we have two variables we want to use throughout all of our class so we define them above again uh, our edit text and our text view called mine shared prep or shared data and data results then within the on create method I just said you know set up to our XML file and also I created this method called setup variables which is right here which is again adds those references um, from our XML file and then I set our save and our load button um, to be have an on-click listener which is this so we again implemented on-click listener and did a uh, switching case set that up so hopefully you guys you shouldn't be confused with that because we've done this numerous of times so again I just trying to save some time for you and not type that out um, hopefully you guys if you guys have been following the series you should probably be able to do that easily by now in your sleep so let's get into it um, as you can see this type of data is called shared preferences that's the way we're gonna s um, save our data and reach and receive our data and we've used shared preferences before when we had a preferences class where we you know turn off the music for a splash activity um, just stuff like that but we're gonna go into a little bit more depth and just to clarify the shared preferences is a way to store um, private primitive data in like a key value pair um, and that was the definition off the Android developer page so it's basically we're using key uh, and value pairs to save data and uh, we can just save like strings stuff simply like that uh, booleans different types of variables for the most part so what we're going to do within our onCreate or our onClick method uh, for our save is we're going to get our edit text and read the text and convert it into a string as always. So we're going to say string, and then we're just going to call this like string data, something like that. And again, we just use our edit text, which we called shared data dot uh, get text and then to string so again nothing new there and what we've done is we've set up a string um, variable and this is the kind of variable that we want to save and when we're working with with this shared um, the shared preferences type of saving we need to have some kind of file name so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that file name above our classes right here with our edit text and our text view and it's gonna be a string so we're gonna say string and we're just gonna say prefs or our um, we're gonna say our file name something like that and we're just gonna set this equal to um, my my data or my string data my shared string something like that my shared string and we don't want this file name to change so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say static and basically what static means is it's like hey don't try and change this you jerk just keep it the same and everything's gonna be cool um, so basically this file name will never change um, basically is that what's that saying or it can't change and what we're going to say is we're also going to say public so other you know activities can access this file name if we need to um, so there we go and now what we're going to do is we're just going to use the shared preferences to save this string that we created down here within our on click um, 
of our save button. So we convert it into a string, and then all we have to do is we got to create a shared preferences, uh, basically object where we're going to save the stuff. So we're going to do that within our onCreate method as well. And again, we're going to say shared preferences, and we're going to say um, shared string or no. Yeah, we're just going to say some data, something like that. And again, we have to import this. And what we're going to do is we're going to say get shared preferences. And then what, what kind of, uh, we're going to access our file name. So we're going to just say file name and then comma and zero. So let's check it, check out what this get shared preferences is, and it basically says retrieves and hold the content of a preference file uh, name returning. Um, let's just get down to the second parameter. So let's just get down to the mode. So basically, what the mode says is it's kind of the way that we want to be able to write this. So use zero or mode private for the default operation, which is what we're going to do. But you can also do mode world readable, um, so the world can read and writable um, to control permissions and uh, you know some other options that you can use for that second parameter but now what we've done is we've set up the shared preferences and what we're going to do actually is also define this above so we're just going to copy and paste this above our class or above our uh, on create method and then we're going to define it down here some data and now all we have to do is we can basically use an editor to edit uh, what this, you know, what this file name has within it. Because right now it's just loading this file name, which the first time we run this application is going to have nothing. So we're loading the file name, and now we want to be able to edit it within our save.